And yeah, Sunday, London City Lioness is a team who've started the season very, very well and are going to be a really difficult test for us. Yeah, the, the results that they've been getting lately has been, has been really good, like they did last year. The, they are a solid team, um, but if we just focus on ourselves, then that's all we, that's all we can really do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a tough week for quite a lot of people, including myself, but uh, we managed to stick together. Like everyone always says, it's a bit cliche, but we are like good friends and we're like a little bit of a family, so everyone rallies around each other and yeah, just really glad that we could come away with three points. Considering the weather as well, another good crowd, another vocal crowd, and they really did make a difference at times. Yeah, yeah, I thought, thought this morning we might not, not have that many because of the weather, because I think I was up so up before I even got in the changing room. Um, but yeah, great to see the fans and just thankful that they obviously turn out no, no matter what the weather, and let's hope to see them next home game against Liverpool. Before that, Manchester City on Thursday, uh, another opportunity for us to test ourselves against some of the best players, not just in the country, but the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, for some, some players here, they've never really played at that level. Fact, luckily, I have uh, previously. But yeah, it's just another 90 minute game, and let's go and get the ball down and play that game, and let's see what happens. There's no pressure on us whatsoever with the underdogs, and I think we like it that way. are frustrated um, but all credit to, to Crystal Palace to be fair they were clinical clinical sorry in the three chances that they had um, and that was our downfall today we had so many half chances um, but just not making the right decisions in the final third and that that unfortunately cost what it did. 
Yeah, I've got another huge game next week. Every single game is, is massive for us. Um, it'll be nice to be at home in front of our own fans because it makes such a difference. Um, we did have a, a few travelling flan, fans today and it was absolutely incredible. We, we heard them all game. Um, but bit, to be back at home in front of our own fans again to Liverpool is going to be something that we are looking forward to. I think it's frustration more than anything um, because I thought, especially second half, we weren't massively in the game. <coughs> um, frustrated with the first half, I think we sat off maybe a little too, a bit too deep um, and just kind of allowed the pressure on. But we rode it out, rode through the storm, some fantastic defending from start to, from start to beginning, um, start to finish, sorry. Um, but yeah, just I think the frustration more than anything. for Durham versus Leicester City in the Women's Football League Cup. Durham will hope to bounce back tonight. Yeah, well, I was just dragging in and we practice so much in training, coming in and just trying to get more on target myself and maybe improve my shooting. And I just thought I'd try and take the opportunity as I could. And yeah, got a result out of it. It says a lot about how well you know we played that we're disappointed to come off having lost to a top tier team with 10 players for half a game. Yeah, like Durham got so much passion. We always want to win every game, regardless of the opposition, so everyone puts in the work. Week in, week out in training, just a shame with the result, but yeah. You've obviously got a few opportunities of late in the first team, that must be something you really enjoy. Yeah, so proud. Like I say, every opportunity that I've been given, I'm so grateful for. Hopefully just keep working hard, getting pushed by the players and the staff and hopefully get more opportunities to come. And looking ahead to Coventry at the weekend, you know, hopefully another chance for, for you to stake a claim. Yeah, like hopefully look forward to the game. Either way I'll be spotting the girls and hope we get a result out of them. I think, to be honest, we've, we've put together a couple of really good performances. Um, the last game at home and then Coventry away, and we've probably played better than when we've won some of the games early in the season, which is frustrating, but that's football, and, and you've got to kind of go with winning and, and losing, and that's, and that's all part of it. So, you know, we've just got to keep developing, keep wanting to play good football, and, and strive to be better every week, and hopefully the results will come. Plenty of twists and turns still to come as well. We're seeing in the league no one team really running away with it yet, and still plenty of time left to, to make up some of that ground, maybe. Oh, of course. Um, the the league's far, far from over yet, and, and we're still there. We're still in it, and anything can happen in this league. It's it's crazy week on week, so it's it's exciting to be a part of, and we've got a chance, obviously, against Blackburn at home to, to keep ourselves up there, and then kind of bounce back after Christmas. I think that's our goal. Obviously, got this international break now as well. And if we know one thing about this group of players, it's that they'll be working tirelessly to, to try and put things right. 
Oh, absolutely. We're all our own biggest critics and everybody's been looking at themselves and what we're going to do better individually and obviously as a team. And yeah, we've got such a strong group of, of players and we we'll stick together always. We're a team and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see us bounce back.